hi guys and this is JFI society um, today I'm going to make a tutorial for you for about this artwork and I'm um, going to study um, three as three concepts for this artwork one um, you can see um, the artwork looks like a movie poster and also a little bit about manipulation and um, um, let me give it as some um, mistake cover so this three concepts will be based on only uh, one hour so um, before we get started this are all the layers being put together to form this artwork. So we will be linked. We will be linking this um, layers for the tutorial as we get started. So um, without much, without wasting much time, let's get started. So let's um, look. Um, the stocks that we're going to use for the entire course so these are all the all the stocks we're going to use for for the course so um by the end of the tutorial going to um, give all the stocks for you for free including the pre-sd so don't worry um let's start doing something yeah so let's open a new document um by going to file new and for the width type 2550 for the height type 3300 set the resolution 300 choose pixels and hit OK. Okay. So when we start, start we start with the step one. Let's open for the step one. You can see there is a background followed by the shelves, metal shelves. Um, next for the floor and a little bit black painting. I think. Um, for the flares, followed by the flares, and that will finish with the step one. So let's work with the background. So choose your background. Yeah. Click and drag. Okay. Hit OK. Okay. Let's go for the shell. Close the building first. And you can see the shell has been cut out already. Don't worry, it will be given for you for free. Hold and click. Oh, sorry, hold and drag. Yeah. So try and reposition it. And let's try to position the background a little bit. I think it's okay. It's okay. Let's close. Sure, we don't need it anymore. Hit of no. Um, you can see that. Um, the next step is for the flow. So let's go for our flow. 
you can see um, for the time being the image has been cut out also so if you were a little bit if you confused or you don't know the process how to um, remove a background or cut out a background um, um it's 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 it. so if it's you 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 go to um I think you go to this too it's the, the fourth view it's called magic wand um the shortcut is for top view you click um outside um, Outside the area, the pick you can see there is some dotted um, line being circled on the image. Then if it delete it, but anyway, don't be worried. Don't worry. Sorry, don't worry. I'll make a tutorial free for for it. So let's continue. Um, before we play. Um, our, our image I think I'll work for the floor first so let's go for the floor click and drag so you reposition the flow to make it look real it enter um, since we don't want um, since we don't want this area we'll cover it with a black color so if you come here and set new layer um, you can um, go to brush set the foreground color black then you decrease the brush size to start painting where you don't want them here so you can go and close it then we will wait a little bit the last step um, we go for our place and click drag click drag here so you reposition it hit ok um, you can see this is the flame and I set the blending mode to color opacity 42 so let's do the same to this blending mode color opacity 42 I think let me make it 50 first you come back and make the corrections again so let's make it 43 I think 43 is okay anyway guys I'm sorry for any background noise um see it's it's quite um we not um it will be well so don't worry about the background noise just focus on the tutorial so um let's go um for this flare and go to foul blare caution blare let's blare I think it's okay play cool then drag let's set the blending mode to screen or overlay think screen it it will be good linear now let's go to screen 
you start choose the eraser tool increase the size and start erasing the place you don't like and rotate it this is it this is it and you duplicate right click and make it flip it horizontal yeah so I think you have finished with the first step you click and group them by pressing control plus G rename it step one give it a color let's make it orange here I think we've done with the step one so let's move along close this one we don't need it let's move along wait with the step 2, the step 2 is based on the image plus the tattoo, um, hue and saturation and the arrow belt so let's start working with the image um, you can see the image it is the image without the effect and so it is the image with a little bit effect so let's work on this image let's duplicate the image by pressing ctrl plus j or you can take the image and show it to this symbol called new layer it will create a duplicate whichever way you want it it's cool um before we put effect on this image we will need a plugin called Topaz Labs um, it's quite there is, it, it's it's quite cute it's good it's not sorry it's not quite it's good and um you can go to the web and browse and search this for the plugin is not free so if you don't need it it's cool so duplicate the image double click and rename this detail go to file to part labs and choose detail 2 fastness will based on the performance of your PC so it's it's, so it's quite slow it will keep a little bit longer and sorry for that yeah choose this preset um, it's creative graphics basically it's this gritty graphics is not Oh, it, is, it was not first in the topaz detail I did my own process so you can go and copy my settings and save them it's, and save it so this this is you copy my settings you want to you if you want to save go to save type your name there and hit ok so that hit OK so you can see before and after go to file to parts to parts detail sorry to pass clean 3 um, choose creative graphics don't be confused um this is the settings I did just to add to the preset you can again copy my settings and save it 
with any given name um, the simple process you want to if you want to save you go to save you type a name and you hit ok so after you've done you hit ok again quite slow process with this and the performance of your PC if you don't have mm -hmm. okay so you can see the one with the detail the one without the detail and the one with the detail you can see it pops it pops it pops it looks great so let's select the main and the detail and press ctrl plus c to merge them oh you can select by holding the control and click the detail in the main to select you right click then you go to merge layers that also works so let's fix our image you click um you hold control hold plus shift just to stretch all angles to make it proportionally here I think um, it's cool now uh, so select the detail we don't want the white this white area so we select the image select magic one to click to move with the arrow key just get the light it is not there anymore do the same process um, to same thing don't worry don't worry here we're going we're not going to need it we will cover there so there is no need for us to let's rotate it a little bit okay so we done with our image um next is for the tattoo so close this one we don't need it so I will go for the tattoo guy so we have to cut out the background we don't need it select the magic one to click outside the image and hit the leg yeah so let's write the image a little bit go to image adjustment caps it's okay you can see before and after before and after so let's move the image and let's place make sure set the blending mode to multiply so we can see It's this one and stretch it. I think it's okay. So we're going to erase for the tattoo. We're going to erase the unwanted area. We don't need it. So take the eraser to you and make it layer mask. If in any case you get it you get it wrong but let's make it 
quicker. Start raising. Take a little bit time to go. Don't worry, be patient and let's finish with it. See it's working. It well well. Yeah, we're done fixing our saturn and um, we set the opacity to 83 just to make it 83. Let's erase this area. This area too. Let's set it sixty. I think sixty is cool. If we don't need it, we'll go back. We'll come back and make it correction. I think we don't need the chain. So let me start. Raising it, yeah. Let me make it seventy. All right. Let's brighten it a little bit for the tattoo. Go to image adjustment, curves. Yeah, I think it's okay. Hit okay and set it eighty-three. Yeah, I think it's good. So we're going to clip, make a clipping mask, 
by um, selecting the tattoo and hold the alt key from the keyboard move the mouse a little bit on top of the image you can see the symbol it has been changed and you hit you click so it will make it will make a clipping mask only for the image so let's move to our adjustment hue and saturation we we made the hue the saturation to negative 40 so let's go go to hue sorry go to new adjustment layer hit your hue and saturation make it minus 40 and make it a clipping mask for the tattoo and the image to okay so the next step we're going to first the belt belt all right so we don't need this anymore um let's go to our stocks let me choose this one and it has been also cut out so we hold and click and drop then position it hit Let's study this one here. We are on the track. So we can erase here. Set hundred can erase this area. No, we don't need it so. Guys, we are done with our step two. Let's move to step three. Sure, we're going to make it. We're going to set our adjustment. So select by holding the control and on the keyboard. Hold the control key plus G to group them. Set it step two. And to make give a color red. So let's move to step three. You will need it again, but for now we don't need the stock. This is noise. Um, step three. Go to new adjustment layer. Um, select. The foreground color for the R make it 27 for the G 27 for the B 27 to choose 50 percent gray hit OK then you hold the Alt key plus backspace to fill it with the ash color go to filter noise add noise set the amount to 6 uniform oh so let's go to Gaussian hit ok set the blending mode to soft light start that um we'll go 
but in this area by certain vineyard yes try the same by choosing new layer select black color black color and set the set the black the black color sorry fill it with old black backspace um select your eraser to increase the eraser to start using the area you don't need it um, think it's okay let's bring it down a little bit for now we will leave it just like just like that And let's search. Let's create a new layer again. Fill it with black and choose the eraser to locate it. You read, set the blending mode to soft light. Sorry for the noise. Um, that's what it is. <laughs> so let's make our color balance. We're going to set the red plus 23, make it green plus 244, and make it the yellow negative 28. So go to new adjustment layer, go to color balance, set the red to 23 plus 23, the green 44, the yellow minus. 28 this is plus this is also plus I think it's okay so when when you're done you group the entire layers by pressing control plus J set it step 3 So we're done with step three. Let's go for step four for the arrow in hand. So let's work with adjustment. A little bit. Okay. Let's make it 88. It's too much. 42. I think it's okay. And the yellow. Let's make it 28. I think it's okay. Let's let's do something here for this. For the step three, for the color balance, let's check. No, I think it's okay. Yeah. 
2 what is the foe let's go for this one this one this one Oh, sorry, move this one to the top and select this one. Um, select the layer mask because we will need it and select this one to zoom it. Select the layer marks to the brush to and make the foreground color white. Sorry, make it black. So let's zoom up. See, let's do the same thing with the left. Zoom. Go for this one, rotate it, let's repeat the same thing by creating a layer mask for each again sorry then select and So we're done with with it. So we're done with step four by placing the arrow in hand, create a new group, create a group, set it, rename to step four. We don't need it. So let's move to step five by placing our flares. Let's move to step five by selecting this. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's go and set it screen. Wait. Zoom. Make it duplicate 
rotate it rotate it a little bit it's okay So let's make um hold control shift alt e to group all the layers and make it one layer here is it so you go to filter camera roll and I think you if you are using CX6 you can find a camera roll over there if using CX5 um, I don't think it's there but you have to go to um, I'll come back later and I'll show you where you can find your camera roll when you see CX5 so let's make the temperature yellow plus 6 green plus 9 and 5 exposure let's make it a little bright uh, contrast um, black shadow let's make it plus 3 clarity plus 10 and this one and plus 7 it's okay I think you can see before and after I work so guys um we've done so this is how I did the arrow I think you like it 
um, subscribe and like our page at GFX Society on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, thank you very much. Um, let's catch up another day. Bye.